So this is what's happening in the marketplace in terms of e-commerce and in terms of just Shopify your option. So what I really want to first discuss is virality of this entire thing. Like why am I talking about virality and why would I talk about, you know, uh, viral products? The thing is, is that you guys live in a very short term mindset of how you guys build your businesses. So let's say, you know, you're selling a product, right? And let's say you guys all do the same thing based on the winning products that, you know, these gurus tell you to do. So that means that this is all you. If you've ever read the book, Blue Ocean Strategy, I guarantee you, this is what creates ad fatigue, competition, lower prices, less value, and saturation overall. Because you guys are all doing the same shit based on the winning products that people tell you to do every month. I guarantee you, you probably watch like a video from a guru and then it's like, you know, you believe that's a winning product for some weird reason. And then you follow their same metrics that they give you. And then, you know, at the end of the day, you're not making any sales and you wonder why the hell you're not making any sales. And then you make one sale, but then at the end, you probably fucking sell once and you don't sell it again. Am I right? That's probably you. So this is what's happening in the marketplace in terms of e-commerce and in terms of just Shopify dropshipping. You guys are following this format. So you guys are all in a red ocean and you guys are all doing the same shit based on what gurus tell you. But my question to you is like, how do you know based on your own research, not on the gurus, but on yourself, based on your own research, how viable the product actually is. Because at the end of the day, I don't think that people should copy and follow and listen, but this is exactly what you're doing. And this is why you're not making any money because you're creating your own competition in the marketplace by yourself. And that's what the gurus actually want you to do. They want you to do the same shit so that you guys create competition in yourself so that you guys don't believe that it works so that they can take more of the market share. I hope that that makes sense. So the way to um, beat this or counteract this is just offer something fucking different. So like, let's say this is your entire competition. So let's say this is you right now on the outside. What you can do is offer something better, offer a better service, change the diagonal of how you're offering it, change your ads, change the way you write your copy, change the psychological and behavioral patterns of people based on how they look at your product and how they look at the branding and the products in general so that you can, you know, you know, change the pattern of behavior that's already attached to whatever outcome they've already seen in, you know, drop five, you need shop five drop shipping and shit like that. So hope it makes sense. So let's say this is you. And what you do is that you can actually insert yourself into the marketplace. And once you do that, and you have a good offer, good service, and you offer something 10 times better than everybody else, but also at the same time, you change the angle of how you offer it, you're literally gonna be the only one and everyone's gonna be doing the same shit and it's just gonna be you. So once you understand this concept, this is what I'm saying, like stop relying on fucking viral products, winning products, like all this short term shit. Like you guys haven't sold the idea of short term thinking you know you guys haven't sold the idea of uh, getting one product making one sale and hoping to make more sales just on that one sale if that makes sense so the people that sell you the idea is like you know i made i don't know 200k last month right cool the thing is that's revenue if you see my other video on calculations you guys don't calculate the overall cost of how much they actually make so they just show you the fucking dashboard but that's not the truth guys so Stop living in the short-term mindset. Start living the long-term. Start changing yourself in the marketplace and stop fucking doing the same shit, you know? Once you do this one thing, I guarantee you, once you do this fucking one thing, just change it. Just change everything, you know? In terms of what you believe is best for your business and your marketplace, you will fucking undoubtedly win. Because think about it, like actually think about like, Let's say this is you, right? Again, back to my example. And this is everybody else. If everybody else is doing the same thing and you're doing something opposite, where's the competition? Non-existent. It's literally non-existent. There's no saturation. So that's how you, you know, destroy your competition. And you're going to be wondering like, huh, Josh, there, there's no no demand or anything. Saturated. Well, the thing is, is that there's a good thing that's saturated because it shows demand. But secondary, it's like, once you change the offer and you can offer something way better, if you offer something 10 times better than your competition, obviously you'll win. Like 
Because no one thinks that far in this game. Nobody in fucking e-commerce in Shopify dropshipping thinks that far. Like none of you think that far. All you guys think is terms of short-term thinking, making that first buck on that one sale, but you guys don't think of it as a continuum. So, okay. So I hope that this is useful. Um so if you found that video very informative, very useful for your business and for your Shopify stores, check out this other video I made here. It's going to be the first link in the description.